Well, welcome to the Dream Labs. Dr. Contrast Live here. Hope all is well. And I just want to take a moment here. Hey, the real Shadowkin. How are you, Doctor? Tier one, the subscriber. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, Shadow. Good to see you again. Hope all is well with you and your family. So thanks very much for tuning in here. And I uh, just want to go through a bit of a real quick review here. Um, this is where we ended up with the uh, with the uh, Manticore in the actual flight mode or the attack mode itself. So it's kind of an interesting setup composition. A little bit of a warm sky in the background, getting some of the laser fire in place. And uh, uh, the one thing that was missing, though, in this composition, what I thought was really interesting was the fact that we didn't have a sense of scale. It's a massive machine. So I think um, we made a long time ago when we started the program some three, three, four weeks ago uh, with the Shadow Man on board, we just decided that we'd go through a series of uh, maybe putting into a flight mode and attack mode such as this illustration. And then to really show what the scale is like, maybe to bring it down to a ground level and move into a, uh, a landing or a hangar platform piece. And uh, this we're going to work on today, and I think we'll show you in just a moment here. But just to set the tone, uh, I think, uh, was really significant to me was I think the surfaces worked out well, being very mechanical, uh, much more militaristic <clears throat> in a sense. And uh, with a little bit of a band new language and, and so forth, that was a bit of a, a, a real grinder for me in putting that piece together because it was just it's so few areas to put it in place uh, based on the actual character of the vehicle itself or the actual ship. So once we had that all set, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, this is phase one, for example, in the attack mode uh, of the Manticore um, at a real high strafing angle here. And then the second thing we're going to work on today is this. So I'm going to move this out of the way here. We'll get this up and out of the way. This is the one we kind of really had a lot of um, faith in in terms of showing you what the scale is going to be like. And I'm going to spend some time today just blocking in some tone and some uh, basic uh, washes to kind of reproduce it at a ground level piece. And then adding some architectural pieces in the background, for example, some of the hangar systems, some architecture in the background. And when, once we get this thing pretty well closed in, we'll start adding the same kind of a warm sky in the background and give it a little bit of warmth to it here. So let's kind of work our way through this thing and get it started with just doing some very simple washes and values to kind of let uh, see what we have. And we'll work from there, just going from light to dark. And like we did in the first piece here, we'll just start to wash it in here just a bit. So Let's kind of go at it here. Just get some nice simple pieces in place. Just kind of wash it through. Keep it nice and neutral. And just kind of walking through it. I mean, this is a pretty delicate part of it all. Once you build the base here, I think everything else starts to fall into place. But I think you've got to be very careful that we don't go too fast or too quick with a lot of tone change and a lot of unnecessary pieces that just might not fit the puzzle here. So I'm going to take my time to really go through this very, very methodically and make sure we almost marry the same thing we had in the attack version here. So let's just kind of put this together. A little bit of a whitewash in that guy. I'm going to come back into this. Just laying in basic shapes. Getting it over the top. Coming back through the cockpit area into the wing structure. Again, the other side here. Opening that up just a bit. Notice everything is almost like a number one cool gray, just to get it started. And then we can come back in and begin to put a lot more detail and slowly bring it down from into a warm, cool gray, pardon me, number one, into a nice series of washes to kind of get this thing to fly just a bit. And then we're going to have a kind of canopy definition there. So let's put that into place here, just in a simple little scrub, get that all squared away. Begin to define the shapes. And go through the cockpit area because that's going to go much deeper as we go here. So let's just kind of lay that in. Lay that in. Lay that engine nacelle for just a moment here. And just get these basic blocks put in place. Huge difference. And we'll slowly build up the values here. So let me just slow it down here just a bit. Keep washing. Put a little bit of a pressure change. And that's the thing about working with marker. It's interesting because um, the more you lay down pressure, for example, you can go very light to get the surface to work very cool. Um, in a very efficient manner, and all of a sudden, the next thing, you just put a little more pressure, hand gesture on top of the shapes itself. You can change. You can get the number one gray to go down to about a number two or three, which is nice. Just let it dry a little bit. Notice, it's, notice the, the value change. Same marker. Look at the difference from that to that. I'm just putting a bit of saturation together. So let's go back in and get these upper hydrofoils in place, the dihedrals, the butterfly, or pardon me, the dragonfly little system that we're working with here. Stain them in. Get them in place. Then we can really start to put together some real content. Now again, back to the gunner turret back here, this big bold piece representing the dragonfly tail, even though it's not a dragonfly system, so to speak. But that's where it started. It's kind of give us some pretty insight on where we're going to go with this guy. So there, there's a real first pass. 
at just blocking in some basic value. This kind of, I'm going to really work on the aircraft today to get this thing up to speed as to where we were the last go around. Then we'll come back in and pick up the architecture and just pick it apart bit by bit by bit. So let's go back in and get some high contrast areas in here just to get it started. So we can start to see where we are. So this little intake over the canopy itself. So that will come back into play here. There we are. Get that tooth to work. I'll block that piece in. Won't see it on the other side. So we can go back in and pick up this piece here. Just a real quick touch of getting this high impact pieces in place. Let's put a little bit of that in there. And let's get that wing separation when this thing begins to articulate. Let's put that into place here. Pardon me as I move that up. This is where that graph starts to really work here. Pardon me as I rotate this pad just a bit here. Get this sharper to work for us here. Just kind of blocking this form in. And as we did the first go around, very similar process. We're going to take the time to really block in the shapes. And as we go through the process here from day to day, for example, tomorrow we'll start tightening down some of the line work. Put a lot of drawing detail. Because I'm, I'm a firm believer that, that you can have all the process in the world, but I think the real aspect of being really keeping it clean is just a nice, hey, Silvertail. Busy with crumb repair and listening to the music. <laughs> Very good. Good to have you on board. Thanks so much. Real talk through. Looks, looks dope. Hey, good deal. Um, so thanks for joining us here, Silvertail. Nice to have you on board. So let's go back through here. And as I said before, I think one of the nice things about the process here, what we're trying to really illustrate in this whole series of the Manticore is, again, you can have a lot of surface work, a lot of media, a lot of, um, a lot of things going on in terms of marker, uh, definition, and so forth. But what really makes a difference to me is a good drawing detail. So we're going to spend some time blocking the shapes today and then really move in and do a lot of definition work tomorrow. Let's get these guys in place here, all these little, little spikes. With high contrast. Let's get these out of the way first, and I'll just move it back in a second. Pardon me for moving around a little bit, but I want to make sure we get this to really function well. So that's that guy in place. We'll get this guy in place. Just walking through the entire ship and just making some little adjustments. Then let's get this guy to really work here. This is where that articulation piece is on the other wing system. We'll take that right through. Very methodical bit by bit. I've always really been a real believer of going from light to dark. If you make a commitment too quickly in the dark areas there, boy, it's disastrous because all of a sudden it just takes away the rhythm or the actual sequence of the sketch itself. Very difficult to kind of recover once you find that in place. So here again, we've got some uh, little, little pieces here. Let's kind of get this wound in here, this little glove system. Get that all toned in. Then we'll go back and add some marker solutions. There we go. Add a little bit more tone. And we'll tighten down as we go. There's that beauty here. That's that. <clears throat> a little bit of a leading edge on this thing. We'll get those three inlet pieces here. You got one situated there, one situated there, and again another one situated up on top of the nacelle itself. And while we're at it, we're going to come back in and get this high contrast intake area, just kind of block it in. To get the borders in place then we'll come back in and add a more definition to it so get that little hooded piece in place let's switch from over here and get some real high contrast in this guy and I fill in the blanks as we go here my blood Let's 
So let's kind of rough that up a little bit here. Come back in and define it just a little bit more. Take some of the edge off of this guy. Make sure the borders are complete. And let's put a little bit of this up on top here, this little intake piece. While we get the high contrast pieces, we'll work away here. And where the light source is coming from, we're going to indicate where that is. And take this right down the line here to that. And then maybe just start just a few pieces in through here just to kind of set it up here. There it is. <clears throat> Let's get some of these spikes in the base of the aircraft. Get all the little pieces put together here first. We'll go back and begin to wash it. Get some of the air surface work in here. So there you go again. Let's put a bit of a little landing gear on the extremity here. Just a little touch of that. Kind of get that started. That kind of settles it for us. Same thing on the inside here. That's that. Let's come back in with just a, put a number three gray and just start putting a little bit of a tone change in this nacelle area here, this engine system. Let's kind of get this started here. Just a touch more tone. Value change in the underwing here. Let's take that all the way through here. We'll just get enough of this tone to change here. that in, lock that in, now let's put a little bit of tone back into this thing. separation on that. Let's come back, put a little bit of definition back in this, this wing system here. It's a pretty delicate process there, gang, so thanks so much for hanging on here. Trying to walk it through bit by bit by bit, little by little. Hey, Nemo, how are ya? Good to see you, folks. Good deal. Silver, I've been watching too much, about 40. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not a problem. Hey, Nemo, how you doing? Thanks for joining the forces here. It's nice to have you on board with us. Always good to hear from you. So let's come back in here and get these guys kind of just spiked in. Let's go a little bit more. Let's go down deep, a little deeper with some of the values here.
bit of a wing shift there. We can catch a little bit of that. Let's get some of this a little more contour underneath the wing surface itself. Just get it past that leading edge. Kind of tone this in just a bit more. contour in this thing so it just kind of jumps just a bit Got that leading edge will kind of kick back in there there we are same in through here and then through here let's go back and get this number three rolling here see if we can come up with a nice simple pass inside that body form there let's see if I can find there we are it's got a nice little Nice, nice value of threes here. Just gonna put more pass in there. There you go. That's got some more juice to it. Cool. A little more contour change. A little bit of that into it. Keep it nice and simple. Tone some of the shadow side away from that, that surface work. There it is there. Bring it back in. Bring this into play now. And just little by little. Walk that in, come back a little bit later, pick up some of the same detail work. Some of the underbody carriage and just kind of lightly dust this in and define it with more drawing as we go here again. Put the little foil underneath here. Again, this, this outrigger. And little by little, starting to take shape. Just kind of building the values up a little bit here. Let's see what we've got here. Any questions so far? Daka Daka, ha ha, yeah, Streamlabs, but it's just like how everything just tells you what it, it is. Tank, Gusta, Brakes, Tanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty interesting. Pretty cool stuff. Let's try to put a little bit more contour back in the con in the cockpit. Uh, the uh, cockpit. Now let's put a little bit of shadow in this thing and just kind of drop it off just a bit, little by little. A little drop underneath this thing. doing silver tail thank you very much appreciate you joining forces with us here cool thank you so much for following very cool good to have you on board I'm just kind of block this thing in very quickly here make sure we've got enough of the contour in this guy get this leading edge to scream a little bit more there we are 
underneath a little more shadow. And as stated earlier, this is the most delicate part of it all because you're starting to lay in some of the black forms and you don't want to push it too far because if you get too deep with that, all of a sudden it's hard to resolve coming back to it. So we're going to get it nice and methodical here. What do you think so far, gang? Well, you let just anyone walk in. <laughs> well, maybe that's the case, but I'm glad he's on board. Thanks very much, Silvertail. Good to have you on board here. Just going to put a little bit of that in place. Now, let's come back in and get this cockpit squared away. This is where it's going to be fun. It's going to state it in first. And, and really, when I describe this thing, this is not really just a, a flat shape. This whole surface here kind of blisters out and forms a round body for like almost like a, a cone of some sort. So we're going to go back in and just give a little bit of contour in this thing. Give it a little bit of a highlight break in through here. Get this underneath to come underneath the gun turret itself and let that kind of sneak in there. Now let's get this really quick. little piece here and we'll start to slowly define what that cockpit's going to look like here. So this is a really delicate part of the whole process to make sure the thing reads not only dark transparency but at the same time has a lot of form change to it as well. It's not a simple just straight cut geometry here. A lot of little complicated pieces coming together. So let's take our time and block this in. And again very methodical breaking up some of the highlight pieces here. Just to indicate where that light source is going to come from underneath and little by little let's add a little bit of that blade change in there there's a little bit of separation that's going to help us Pardon me for turning this upside down to get a little more rhythm in the actual pass of the stroke of the pen. And there's a start at that canopy piece. That's going to get these nacelles in place too. That's going to help us kind of drop in a little bit of surface in that auxiliary engine set. I'm just roughing it in. Turn through the page here in just a bit. Get the big surface in first and start to just pull it pull it apart and build it up. just for a moment and get this this hood of detail put in place set up here. A little bit of tone in this guy. Now, it's starting to make some sense here, gang. What do you think? So far so good? Come along all right? Uh, what do you think thus far? Let me take a bit of a break here and see what you guys think in terms of the progress here. So let's hope we're getting some, some pieces put together here for us. And let's go back in and pick up a nice, uh, let's see, about a number five again. Just going to go with secondary stain on this back area here. Let's 
get a little bit more definition back in this area here too as well. upside down we'll get this guy blocked in here very quickly I think that's got it it's kind of tighten it down a bit more Uh, let's go back and kind of wash this in a little bit further. What do you think, gang? That's far coming together all right? Making sense? Very little by little, just kind of put it in. Always nice to see how those shapes emerge out of the paper. Yeah, that, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Looking good, Nemo. So I'm certainly glad you're on board here. It's always fun to have you a part of the team here. Let's kind of walk through this again, just kind of slightly lay in some of the surfaces and get it to work for us here. I'm going to get a little more animated now. We've got some of, some of the surfaces blocked in pretty nicely. So now we can animate just a bit more. Get some of these engine nacelle pieces in place. Kind of fire it all up. I'm just going to block that. Uh, just kind of a nice light gray. Then we'll start there and then bring it back in with the number three. Let's hope it's kind of just kind of just drop that little surface shape down. There it is. Nice. Just enough delicate work here to kind of make this thing crank. Juice in this little bit of shadow work here. down to define, 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 almost every single time. Definition. A little bit more scrub in the cockpit area here. A little reflected light in the glass. Bring that on through. And take just a bit more touch here.
Now we put a little bit of heat to this thing. Deeper with this, so I'm going to just deep darken it up a little bit. We got those, you know, those veins to kind of pop just a bit more. We'll go back with some more drawing definition and get that thing all picked up, nice and detailed. I'm going to make sure we keep those those edges. There we are. We have a trailer response in there. A little bit deeper shadow went through here. A little bit of a tone and a shadow on the gun here. So it's going to get this guy kind of cooking here just a bit more. Now let's go on the line here. It's got a little bit of impact on this canopy. A little bit of reflected light. A little bit of shadow. Now the number nine cool gray, just get one more little more charcoal in this canopy here. And we'll come back in and define it with them. Again, drawing with a little bit of temporal work and get some highlight work in this thing and really kind of crank at it here. So yeah, this shading makes them really yeah, okay, cool. So far so good there, huh? Shadow looking good. One thing I'm really looking forward to is moving this thing into a family of forms, for example. Once we're done with this guy, we're going to start doing a series of study from the rear three quarter, what the carrier system might look like and what this thing is able to do. That'll be a lot of fun in terms of putting together the right circumstances with, I mean, just pardon me, just won't get a little bit of definition in some of those veins and just we'll let that go with that. I'll just bring this in just a little bit more. Get that shadow to work a bit. Drop this down just a bit more. Get that little tanning edge here on that piece to kind of kind of get it. Very steady as we go here. I think one of the nice things about this process too is when you start to see what begins to take place, you'll actually begin to picture what, what the scale is going to look like once we get it all put together here. Let me just kind of tone this one wing area here we're in. There we are. A little more believability, a little more shadow on this guy. And that's starting to come together pretty nicely, I think. I think we're in pretty good shape. What do you think, gang out there in the audience? This is your ship design. Hope it's working just as well for you here. Three, two, there is four, there it is, five. A little more shadow down into here. Very cool. Up and over. Bit of a different stance here. It's gonna be a little bolder at rest, obviously. I think that's one of the nice things about this whole, whole process of going through the creative side of what it's starting to do is just to get a lot of definition in terms of um, surface linear work, line and so forth, and all the pieces that start to come together here for us. Let's see a little bit of change of pace over the top of that, give that crown to work just a bit more, and into that little drop, and let that go. There it is there. 
Let's get a little more definition inside this guy, a little deeper. I'm going to keep enough transparency in this thing to kind of make it look like a bit more overlap. Now, what do you think, gang? So far, so good? Coming in all right? Once we get the, once we get the hot spots in place, should be good. Get a little more shadow back in through here. To define it just a touch more. Always remember too, the thing that makes a big difference is the drawing definition. That's everything. So there we are. Let's, let's see what this guy does. Let's put a little variation on theme back in through here too. There we are there. And there we are there. Now let's see if let's get this go back to a little bit of pen work in this guy. Get those insert areas in. And let you judge where we're going with this guy. Drawing definition. Duplicating what we had in the first study here. as we go just a bit let's get that spear in place here there we are same on this side here What do you think, gang? We think we're getting there? How's that look? It's going to come together pretty nicely. There it is, Starship Captain Nemo. Sorry, it's always a bit scary when I see you staining in more and more and more, and it gets darker and darker, but there's only the dry color brightens up again, and the white drawn on, light reflexes, missing yet. So, yeah, 
intensifies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, the staining process is a very difficult and, and uh, interesting one, uh, Nemo, because the more you darken it down, for example, the more you begin to stain it, um, yeah, it'll go on deep and then also a little dry, and so it gives you a little more relief as you go here. Uh, so it's really interesting. It's interesting. So again, you push it a little bit further, knowing full well it's going to dry a little bit for you. Then from there, you begin to pull back and get this thing to kind of crank at it for you. So let's go back in and really put some impact in this glass now. Let's get this guy to really read. Come back a little bit of tone underneath this guy. A little deeper. I'll come back in with tempera and some highlight work to really get this thing to scream for us here. So just put a little more reflection in this guy. Get that oval of work, that round surface we were talking about earlier. And we'll define that with section work as well. Leave a little bit of highlight down through there. And then we'll go back in and just put a nice little light tone here to kind of get that, that gun system, that, uh, that gun platform up front kind of stabilized here. It's going to put this in place here. definition in this guy here. Concentrating getting some of this tightened up just a bit here. Well, I certainly hope this is making sense for everybody here. Definition on that guy. Come out to that leading edge just a bit here. Now they will let that go. That's good. Don't overcommit to this thing too deeply here. And let's see, pardon the silence here, gang. I'm just trying to think the way through this process here to kind of get this pocket up on top to read without killing the little insert area. Got a little more drama to it. Got a little catwalk in through here, a little more offset in an engine, a wing system rather. Break that up just a bit.
a little bit of ground reflection in the sky. I don't know, what do you think, gang? Eh? Coming along all right? There it is. It just kind of slowly but surely comes off the page here and gets a little more imposing. The more evil it begins to look, I think the coolest part about it is it's starting to look pretty evil. So hopefully that'll work for you guys too. A little more tone up on top here to kind of fill in some of the blanks. Let me stop right there just for a moment. What do you think? Um, making a lot of ground. This is, man, she is beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting form. It, there, it, there's, a, there's a lot of drama to it. It's very interesting how the whole thing, that whole process begins to, to click in terms of this whole dropping system. I was really intrigued by the fact when Shadow and I started this program a month ago, getting great input from you all in the audience was uh, really paramount as far as I'm concerned. But the neatest part about it was getting the input about, yeah, let's try this and let's do this and let's add that to it. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I think really makes a huge difference in terms of putting things together. This went together very nicely from a, from a point of view of uh, uh, getting some drama in the place and getting some really interesting surface work. And I think we never lost the concept of getting this whole idea to become this very intimidating looking form. And uh, very, very surprising uh, that your input was really paramount in putting this whole process together. Just a couple more pieces of detail here to kind of slow it up just a bit. It's going to get this kind of That's that. A little bit of that spike in place here. Let's put a little secondary tone back on this thing. All right, what do you think, gang? Uh, that's a start uh, right there. I think we've got some pretty good. Oh, I missed a, missed a nacelle piece here, I think. Nope, we're good. Let's put a more tone on this wing, wing separation and with the light source. There it is. And up on top, again, a little bit of the leading edge. You got to drop in just a bit more. So as I said in the beginning of the stream, I think it's going to be really interesting for me, anyhow, this go around is to start to look at this both in the introduction period the piece of uh, the attack angle piece that we've already completed then this landing platform. Can't wait to see how the hangar finishes up. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'm just uh, looking forward to just uh, slowly but surely here. Um, Pixel, just taking my time to make sure that uh, once we get this this guy set, we can kind of pull back on a little bit of that backdrop so it's not as impulsive, keep that pretty light and atmospheric here. But I think uh, one of the things that might be interesting to do here as well is to get some of these ground effects pieces put in place here. So let's see, let's, uh, let's come up with a number one, just to kind of slowly begin to put in some of these pieces here to kind of intro on the ground plan and see what this starts to do. Once we see what that shape is starting to look like here, let's go a little deeper with this thing. Let's get rid of some of that wash look here. Also be adding here just to kind of help consider it in the drama of this whole thing. Let's come back in with enough. Let's see. Pardon me. Let's go to number four gray. With enough information here on ground shadow.
let's see what happens here when we do this. bit of a ground shadow in here so that kind of helps to settle this thing just a bit Turn this upside down and we'll get this shadow in place here, see what it looks like. Just to ground it. Main body form, then we'll kick it back out just a little bit more with a little bit of wing structure to it. So you can back just a touch more here with some a little more definition with the light source at that. That.
There we are. What do you think, gang? There's a, there's a pretty good value start right there, I think, where we are. As far as it goes here, let's see. Read the most common bottle. I think the side by side is needed. So can we see the attack shot? Oh, oh yeah, here you go. There it is. There's the attack piece. Sorry, there, Nemo. There it is, side by side. Let's see if we can kind of line that up here. Probably right, just concentrating getting the pieces in place. So if it'll work at all, that comes up to play. How's that? Is that going to work okay? No? He's in his own. Okay, sorry about that. I think he's side by side as needed. Uh, let's see. We'll go side by. I don't know if we can get that to work here at all. That's awesome. There you go. How's that? Piece to piece. Is that, is that working out right there, Nemo? There's the actual combat piece itself. And there's the landed version right there. It's almost the same identical set of circumstances. I just sort of mimic that same change. I don't know if you can see that all right or not. I'm sorry for the inconvenience here. Pardon me for missing your question there, uh, Nemo. So with that thought in mind, I mean, there it is right there as a comparison piece. What we're looking at here is when it's all said and done, um, I'm going to come back in and put a little more ground effect work in here, uh, a little bit of dry pastel to warm up the ground base and so forth to get that all started. Come back in with a little bit more definition and, and the, the actual building structure itself. I'm going to take my time now. Now that I see what the vehicle is looking at, I'm going to really analyze what this thing is starting to look like here. Um, and really begin to play into this whole process of getting it really set in. And then again, you'll see, for example, and even if you're still there, you'll see this kind of sky content uh, when it's all said and done, um, put in the background area behind the architecture and the aircraft. Then it will reflect a little bit of that light with that same color system into what we're looking at here for the, uh, the actual ground surface itself. And then we'll add some little bit of human scale. Um, so all that should have to come here again. I think let's just kind of do this for a second. Let me kind of clean this up a bit, just a bit. If I can get this kind of roll here, let's get the shadow to kind of clean up a little bit more. I mean, it might be best to just, just take that, that wider marker and just kind of block it in there as best we can here. What do you think? There, this ground shadow in place. So we can get this kind of knocked down just a bit more here, so it's not so literal. There it is. There. Move that number three gray. That is.
And I just want to wash in some real simple surfaces here first, gang. And we'll come back and put a little more definition and detail in this thing as we go. Just walking it through. A couple more passes here. I think we've got it. All right, let me stop right there. Okay, there it is. We'll add more details as we go here, but I think uh, we're really interested in, in the back there. Just in. So, hey, Chip, how are you? Good to have you on board. Uh, thanks for joining us here. We're just getting going through the whole process. I'm trying to make uh, a little bit more comparison piece here between where we were with the attack version. There was a final piece with the with the attack in, um, angle in place and some of the color systems in the background and some of the laser focus work. And we're going to add some more detail here. And notice um, this one's pretty well complete in terms of that. That's it as far as the attack mode is, in, is concerned. And then this is the one we kind of set up for the the actual uh, landing version at all. I mean, the, and, and the hangar itself. So um, I just want to block in today, for example, some of the things we're looking at. Let me just kind of clean this line up a little bit down here. Sorry here for the scratchiness of this. More definition. And what kind of put, pardon me, as I put that aside here, there we are. So that's going to get us set up here. And I think what I'm going to start doing here is putting, obviously, I'll put a lot more definition in the ground plane itself, get some of the scale in place, some of the hangar designation color and tone in the background and uh, putting it all together here but I just want to really get this started today get this 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 massive landing system and uh, the hangar in place and uh, I think it's going to come along all right once we get to kind of warm the shapes up a little bit and put more drawing definition in some of the engine systems like we did for example what's missing is obviously some tempera coming I'm going to work on that uh, some tempera and a more line drawing definition tomorrow. And then uh, hopefully when it's all said and done, we'll add some architecture to it. I just want to slow it down enough here to make sure we make the right decision in the background background areas to get this thing to really read as far as being really cool in terms of making the whole system come together. And then of course, a really important part of adding human scale, which is gonna be down in here. I mean, that's gonna be extremely monumental to get that all in place. So we'll begin to look at this um, very, very much more introspectively as we come into this play tomorrow and uh, really get the forms down and really do a nice job of toning it in. Much more drawing definition, adding some temper, some highlights, so much more, there's a whole lot more drawing def definition going on with uh, some of this stuff. In fact, we just want to add just one little detail before we leave here. We'll start to add some more definition tomorrow with that guy and just really clean up some of the line work. You know, I just really took my, I want to race through it here today, not race through it, but just kind of take my time to really put together a nice block of, of shapes and, and, and value systems, put it all together. So what do you think, Chips? Is this making sense for you if you're still there? <clears throat> Pretty imposing beast, I think. It's a little bit a lot of fun. So there we are. Got, uh, Captain Nemo, what do you think? Are we uh, coming along okay? Uh, the, the attack version is, is all set. Uh, the, uh, hey, very good, Chip. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Uh, very big, very big boy. Yeah, he is. It's massive, so it's huge. So I think one of the nice things about coming out of this again, when we start to put the pieces together and slowly come in tomorrow and define it and add more detail to it, uh, what's going to come after this is I think it's necessary to do another uh, variation on theme here where we start to look at uh, the uh, what the next process is going to look like in terms of the carrier side, all the underside of this guy. Go back and do a rear three quarter of this guy. You go through the investigation of what the carrier systems is. It munitions, is a troop a troop carrier, all the things we talked about in the first few weeks of putting the program together. So I, I think all I'll do here, I just want to analyze this, kind of let that rest for a little bit, take a good look at it, see where we are as far as definition goes, and then we're going to pick it up tomorrow's stream. And uh, let me just do this. I'm sorry, I just missed a little piece of this piece right at the end. It kind of bothers me to do that little bit of shadow. There it is, right there. Cool. So we'll come back in a lot, a lot more. Uh, please tune in tomorrow. We're going to start doing a lot more definition. Is putting some line work into some highlight, like we did with the uh, 
uh, with the attacked version. And, uh, and we'll start looking at some of the architectural pieces. It'll give you some time to digest where we are with this and begin to put some pieces together for the actual contact itself for the architecture, some of the sky tones. Maybe add a little bit more definition back in three. I'm not sure if we would need more or not. I'm going to busy fight it too much. And then they'll take some of this ground plan and really kind of warm it up a little bit and reflect that back into the aircraft or the ship itself. Same thing with the sky tones. Man, maybe that'll do it. Just kind of bring that same sky tone in the reflected ground. And uh, we'll take it from there with a lot of definition in the architecture. So really appreciate you taking the time here today, guys, to be with us. Uh, very methodical, uh, sometimes very slow in and, uh, and, and shape and so forth. But I uh, sure can't wait to see how it Yeah, cool. So, again, thanks so much for joining us here today. And uh, I'll spend the time analyzing this, defining it a little bit more, and then coming back in and really doing a nice job of getting all the pieces to come together. Tomorrow's stream is going to be a drawing definition day and a little bit of highlight, a little bit of architectural start. So thank you very much for joining me. And again, take a moment to look at my website at uh, jim at drcontrast.com. Uh, Dr. Pardon me. And if you have something you want me to work on uh, as far as uh, things you'd like to see for future streaming programs, and like, please feel free to drop me a note at jim at drcontrast.com. I'd love to hear from you. You're part of the audience here that makes it all come together, so which I greatly respect. I mean, without uh, you being there, uh, believe me, this is uh, null and void stuff. So thank you so much for your patience and being with me and uh, joining the stream here today on the Manticore process. And uh, last but not least, um, again, uh, please take a look at uh, the website, um, uh, drcontrast.com. And as I always sign off there, th thank you so much for your time and attention here today, guys. And I really appreciate the fact, and above all else, uh, the most important part of the stream, every time I'm on, on the program here, I always make sure that this is stated. Never forget to remember to dare to be great, because you are. Thanks very much, gang. We'll see you tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock. We'll put this piece together. So thanks very much, gang. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.